Okay, now that I've finished my, all of my typing, I can now go ahead and add um, all different kinds of things to help me. The first thing I recommend doing, don't worry about changing the font or anything like that until later because what we want to do is we might want to change the background and some colors might work with others. So, for example, if I want to change the back color, I'm going to go to a background and I might choose a color. So I can choose like this orange. If I want to, I can, or then I can say done. Then what I did I, is I wanted to put a picture. So what you can do if you want an image, we can go to this, um, looks like a square with mountains, and if I put my cursor on top of it, it says image. So I click, I'm gonna go all the way down to search. And so what I can do is I can look for haunted house, and then I can press enter or search, and I can go through, and this is where I found my house that I used in my picture and I can press select. If I want, you can pull on the corners to make it bigger. Do not pull on the middle, because if I put on the middle, now it looks all funky, unless you want something like that. If I make a mistake, I can always use the oops, go back button, okay? Then I'm going to, so if I want to make it big, like I made mine pretty big, and I even made mine go off the page a little bit, and that's okay because, come on, there we go, because I, I kind of liked how it looked big like that. So now I can see, okay, I like that like that, but I need, if I pull in the corner, so I had it out here, if I pull in now the middle, this makes my text box smaller. I can do the same if I click on my buy, I can pull in the middle, make that smaller so now it fits. Okay, if I want to now, if I know this is kind of what I want to have, I can highlight all of the words, I can go up to the top where it says font, and I can change the font if I want to change it to a different type of font, I can do the same with my name, I can make it a different font, I can even make it, if I go to the A, okay, not the bucket, but the A, I can change the text color. So if I really want like a dark red, I can do that too. One other thing you can do is you notice that I had, some other things I had was some drawings. So for example here, I made the background color gray, but I added some shapes to make these that look like steps to walk up to the house. This was my original image that I just put way at the top. And this I made to look kind of like a ghost. So these all were done with shapes. How I can make a shape on mine is if I go up to the top, right here there are shapes. Okay, if I make my background back to if I want to choose, I chose like a dark gray, okay, then I can go to shapes and what I did is you can make, you can choose at the top different types of shapes. I can, I chose this one I believe to make mine. Now if I go up to the top where that circle is and click on it, I have to hold down, hold down, hold down, I can turn it to make it how I want. I can then stretch it any way I want. I can pull it in, okay, I can pull it in, okay, I can pull it down. So there's many things you can do with it to turn to make it how you want, okay. I can also make, add other lines, I added lines. What I did was I added I believe, a curved line, so I click, 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 if you double click, then it kind of makes like the lines that you might see in the waviness of the lines. As you can see here, I made some curved lines. And you can experiment with any other types of lines. If I click on the image, this time if I go to the bucket, I can choose a color from there, okay? I can make the line around it. Right now that line around it is gray. If I click on line color, I can choose a color as well. And if I, if I click outside, the line goes away. I can always click and move it. 
and things like that. There are all different kinds of shapes that you can use. Notice if I move something, I have to move the rest of it with it too. I can make one I made uh, some clouds. So here's like a type of cloud that I had. Oops, if I make a mistake, I can go back and try it again. Okay? So here's a cloud. And again, you can you can decide how you want. So your goal is to use shapes, colors, things like that. Now I can even make this white or a little bit lighter so that I can read it against the gray. That's why we didn't want to choose our font till after we know our background color is picked. So you can use pictures, images, you can use shapes, lines to help illustrate your picture. Go ahead and you may go.